This video is sponsored by Circular Software. Hi, this is Lori Rulin with Creative Pro. I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of one of my sessions at Creative Pro Week this year in Phoenix. So my session is all about anchored graphics, how to anchor them, what types of anchored graphics, and just a bunch of different ideas. So the first thing I'm going to do is to really tell you how there are two different ways that you can anchor a graphic. So the first section here is how to actually anchor a graphic. There are two different ways. The first way is to select a graphic and we're going to click and drag the little blue square at the top right of the frame into the text. So I'm just gonna click and hold this little blue square and drop it right at the beginning of my paragraph. Now, the cool thing about this is as I move this little box around the page, you'll see that the little anchored graphic travels right along with it. All right, so I also am gonna show you a real neat tip here about showing the text thread so that I can see where the graphic is actually anchored, um, you, know, which, you know, what text it's actually anchored into. Now, I'm going to turn on my hidden characters here, and you'll see that I can see that little Y there. It just tells me where that is anchored. Now, the other way that I can anchor a graphic is to hold the Shift key while I'm dragging. Now, the nice thing about this is if I just point to the little blue box, you'll see a little tooltip comes up, and it'll remind me, oh yeah, Shift drag to make an inline object. So to do this, I'm just going to hold down the Shift key, and then click and drag that little square into my text. Now, the cool thing about this is that I can drag it, move it up and down. And if I add text in front of or hit return, you'll see that the graphic is actually moving along with the text as if it is a character. The graphic is an inline graphic and it stays with the text, kind of like its character, like I say down here. All right, so after I explain what all those things are, I'm gonna come over here and give you a bunch of different examples. Here are two of the examples that I'm going to work on. One of them is we need to make a bunch of icons and logos, maybe um, pictures, little, little, uh, little graphics that need to stick with my text. So for example, if I have some parks and I wanna show the different uh, you know, activities at the park, I might wanna anchor those graphics as an inline graphic. The other reason is because maybe I have to type in a different name of that park. And you'll see that as I type, those graphics will be pushed over to the side. This one, the second one here is not anchored. And if I type in the Valley Park here, you'll see that the text goes right over the top of these graphics. So I know we've all done this before where we say, oh darn, now I'm just gonna have to move these manually and put them over here. So I'm gonna show you a much better way to do this. Basically, we're gonna select a little graphic here. We're going to drag this in, making sure that we hold a shift key before we drag it. And again, I'm gonna drag this in, shift key, find another icon, and just keep dragging those in. Now, another really cool thing that I'm gonna show how to in detail create in my session is we can create a character style that is going to control the tracking, which is gonna uh, adjust the spacing between my icons as well as the baseline shift. So I'll click here on this icons character style and you'll see that right away that those icons, they move down and they get some spacing in between it. All right, so I'm gonna talk all about how to anchor icons within your text as what we call a inline anchored graphic. All right, another example that I'm going to use is how we can take a graphic and allow it to hang on the outside of a paragraph. So we can use photos for this. I do a lot of um, resumes where, uh, you know, proposals for companies where you have to put the photo uh, next to the, the paragraph and make sure that the photo travels with the paragraph. So for example here, I would take my word uh, or my little icon here for InDesign and Illustrator and Acrobat and Photoshop and just drop them right next to the paragraph. But here's the problem. If I just put them next to the paragraph, it works now. But if I go in and resize this frame, you'll see that these words move, but the graphics do not move along with the text. So what I'm gonna to have to do here is anchor these graphics. All right, so I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna select this, and without the Shift key held down, I'm just gonna drag each one of these graphics right into the paragraph. And you'll see 
that as I grab them in, I've got that little line that shows up. And now I can reposition these graphics anywhere that I want them to go. Now I've kind of been a little bit sloppy about this, but it's fine because if I go in and reposition the frame or I resize or type in or remove some of the text, you'll see that that graphic is actually going to travel along with that paragraph. Now, the last thing that we'll do with this example here to show you as the as a sort of as a teaser is we're going to create an object style that will actually control exactly where this graphic is going to sit. So if I pull this way out here in the wrong position, that one as well, I can click on this and create an object style so that when I click on it, it goes to the exact location that I want that graphic to be sitting away from the paragraph into which it's anchored. All right, so let me do that again and anchor that one. So these are just a couple of the tips that I'm gonna show at my session on anchored objects at the Phoenix June 5th to June 9th Creative Pro Week. I really do hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.